Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video we're going to take a look at Fennec 2.0 Alpha for Android. This is another web browser, also known as Firefox for mobile. It does a lot of cool tricks. Let's get to it. Okay, so as stated, this is an Alpha. It crashes a lot, but it does some cool things that gives us a glimpse of what Mozilla is thinking for Firefox for mobile going into the future. They used to have a Windows mobile version of this. It was an Alpha. It didn't work really at all. Uh, so they've shifted focus to Android now. So hopefully we can have finally a real Firefox for mobile experience on Android. Now, one of the coolest things that it does, and we'll start off with that, is that using Firefox Sync on your desktop browser, it's an add-on, you can actually sync tabs, passwords, and bookmarks with your mobile client, which is perfect. So you can have the same internet experience or kind of a continued internet experience on your mobile device. So on the start page here, I can tap tabs from other computers and it's going to synchronize with my desktop or my account. I've already put in my username and password for my Firefox sync account. And here you can see four tabs that I have open on my desktop computer. So I'm just going to tap on the tap, the top one here, and it's an XDA, uh, link and it's going to open it up just like I've had it on my desktop. Okay, and let's see how it is to move around on the page. I'm just going to swipe down a little bit choppy. This is not the fastest browser. It doesn't do multi-touch or at least most of the time it doesn't. You saw it just moved in a little bit. It's not the most smooth uh, browser, but again, this is an alpha. It's not meant to be terribly fast. It's very jumpy and sporadic. Okay, and you just saw the tab management feature. If you swipe to the right, you get to see your tabs. Kind of an interesting way to see uh, the tabs that you have open. A lot of other browsers, like the stock Android browser, put it in a separate window, but Mozilla made it really easy with just a swipe to the right. So we can multi manage multiple tabs here. I'm gonna press the plus button and go to another website. Let's go to Google. By the way, this does not have flash support. Okay, we've got a mobile version of a site here. Let's open up another tab just to get a sense for how things feel. Actually, we'll just go to Amazon. So there is a shortcut right at the bottom of the screen. Again, swipe left for tabs, or swipe right for tabs, and then swipe left for other options. And so here we are on Amazon. Again, it's alpha. It doesn't work very well, but it's kind of a, a proof of concept here. And we can add as a favorite with the star, or we can go to the settings here. And quite simply, we can determine if it should show images, enable JavaScript, allow cookies, remember password. And my device name here is bminimin, that's my username for sync, Fennec on Linux. Linux is Android. Uh, we can go to the right and go to the downloads manager, and then we can go to the right again, and this is where all the add-ins come in. So of course you can have uh, presumably in the future have Adblock and uh, Twitter integration and all sorts of other great extensions and add-ons for your mobile client just like you have for Firefox on the desktop and they give you some suggestions of, uh, of, of add-ons that you may want to add don't want to talk too much about that because as it is the the browser is not that stable don't want to add uh, too many add-ons now there's a cool another cool feature if we tap on the menu button we get this drop down and we can tap save as PDF. Now imagine being able to save a website as a PDF, be able to read it later when you're offline. Great idea. It doesn't work too well. It brings up this file manager and it's not really usable. So we have to go cancel, actually click the back button. Sometimes it freezes in the screen. And here we are in Amazon. The pinch to zoom isn't working. Can't decide if it actually has pinch to zoom because sometimes it works sort of and most of the time it doesn't. So Fennec on Android is on the right track. It's very much alpha right now. Definitely not usable as your day-to-day -day browser. You definitely want to stick to the stock Android browser or there are other Android browsers out there that you can use that are third party. But the promise of Fennec to be able to synchronize your bookmarks and your passwords and your tabs with the Firefox that you have on the desktop is a great idea. Being able to save as a PDF is a great idea. And another great idea is having add-ons that we've become accustomed to Firefox on regular computers. So hopefully Mozilla continues to develop Fennec. Please thumbs up this video if you liked it and thanks for watching. That's it for now.